Hey guys, I'm Mel and today I'm going to do another Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday was created by Ginger Rich Lady and is currently being hosted by Sam from Thoughts on Tones. Today's topic is Top SFF on your TBR and it's a crossover with the Booktube SFF Award bubble and I'm going to leave all the information and links in the description. I haven't been participating of the Booktube SFF Awards bubble in general, but I love SFF and I've been following a lot of the videos and the awards in general. Even though I do read a lot of contemporary, I started to love reading because of science fiction. Every time I see some exciting new release that is sci-fi or fantasy, I get super excited and I immediately add it to my TBR. And these, of course, are the five most exciting SFF books on my TBR. Number 5 is The Stars Are Legion by Cameron Harley. This book takes place during an intergalactic war where Sam wakes up without any memory of what happened in her life. But the people that are supposedly her family tells her that she is the salvation for this war. And if that doesn't already sound so interesting, this book has a girl and girl relationship and I'm here for lesbian in space. And I've been hearing a lot of brilliant things about this book. Number four is Shadow Shaper by Daniel Jose Older. In this book the protagonist just wants to have a normal summer. But then strange things start to happen in New York. Sierra discovers that there is this order that's called the Shadow Shaper who connects spirits with paintings, music and art in general and her abuela might have the key to this new world. This book sounds incredibly exciting. I love everything that has to do with magic and art. There are so many things in those topics that could be explored. And I've read a few short stories by Daniel Jose Older and I know he writes a lot of badass Latinx characters and I just want to read everything by him. Number three is Empress of the Thousand Skies by Rhoda Beleza. This is about two characters, a crown princess who in the day of a coronation there is an attempted murder against her. And the other character is this very famous person who is accused of trying to kill the crown princess. But there is actually a lot of other things that are happening in this world. And basically there is this big conspiracy to kill the crown princess that is much larger than this one character. So I'm hearing nothing but brilliant things about this book. And I just don't know why I haven't read it yet. But it has a combination of things that I just adore reading about. Number two is The Seafarer's Kiss by Julia Embers. This is about a mermaid who rescues this girl and they start being friends and forming this relationship. But when the mermaid's childhood friend and suitor catches them together, he gives her a choice say goodbye to this human girl or face justice at the hands of the brutal king. I realized that I have a lot of female-female relationships in fantasy on my TBR. It's like we get all of these diverse books in contemporary but we don't get them in fantasy so every time I see a diverse SFF book, especially with female and female relationships, I just get so excited about reading them. The Seafarer's Kiss comes out on the 4th of May if you want to add it to your TBR. And my number one SFF book on my TBR is The Gauntlet by Garuna Riasi. It's a middle grade book about these three friends who get trapped in this board game and they have to figure out a way to escape and to save everyone that's trapped in that game. It also has Middle Eastern characters and aspects and I haven't read a middle grade book in so long and I've been hearing a lot of good things about this book. It also reminds me a lot of Jumanji which is one of my favorite childhood movies. It came out last week and I just need to get it now. <laughs> Another book that is not on my list because it comes out the third of October and it's so long from now but I'm so so excited about reading it is 27 hours by Christina Wright. I just can't grasp the complex plot that this book has but it's been described as this cast of queer teenagers battling to save their home and possibly every human in this 27 hour night and everyone has been raving about this book. So tell me if you read any of these books in the comments and if you like them or not or if you are anticipating any of them. Hope you like this, if you did subscribe and I will see you when I see you.
Bye.